Okay. Our location, Port Louis. We over in, I'm assuming that's Indian Ocean. We're going to cross the seven seas today. Year 1959, August the 5th at 2300 hours, which will be um, 11 p.m. Let's move this up into the corner. And let's go find the sun. Oh, your sun is sitting with Uranus and Mercury and the sign of the crab. You are a Cancer. Your Mars and your Venus are both in Leo. Um, Mars on the left, Venus on the right, back paws, major masculine feminine strength going on here, but on the opposite sides of each other. Mars is in the feminine side and Venus is in the masculine side. Um, Uranus carrying with the sun. Let's just uh, start scouting around here and see what all we see. Let's go for... Okay, Mercury's there with them. We got Mars, so we need to go to Jupiter. We'll go out by uh, Jupiter sitting in the balance of the scales. Or if you've been with me for a while, you know this is the claws of the eagle, the oldest known uh, representation of this constellation before Caesar's, before Rome. And actually, I think this comes from Persian and this comes from Greco-Roman because most of this does. Uh, your Saturn is sitting over here in, um, again, the Milky Way galaxy. We've seen Venus there, we've seen the Sun there, now we get to see Saturn there. And Saturn, is, there's your uh, Earth, uh, cardinal Earth planet there in a fire sign. Okay, that leaves Neptune we saw Uranus, so let's go to Neptune. Uh, Neptune in Virgo. I'm expecting uh, that would be the only one influencing you at this point in an Earth sign. And your cardinal Earth planet Saturn is in a fire sign, and we'll check out the other two. Let's go to Pluto. Uh, Pluto and Leo, so you're good. You're not going to face the, you're not going to be on the front line of this Virgo energy that's being transmuted at this point. So you kind of just get to sit, sit back and watch the show. Uh, your your Pluto is over here with Mars and Venus, so that's telling me uh, your subconscious, uh, your moon, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, your masculine and your feminine are all in Leo, and I would say that's extremely balanced. You probably paid your dues. Now you can just sit back and watch the show. And you seem to be in quite a unique place on the planet. For, I don't know where you're at now, but where you were born is, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's just beautiful there. On the other side of the world in another hemisphere. And we're shooting from there. We are in Port Louis. Um, of course, Uranus and Mercury here. So we've gone through your planets. Let's click on your moon. And see, looks like you kind of got might have a day moon going on here, or a new moon, the egg moon, as I call it. Uh, all the Catholic iconography, when you see, yeah, when you see Mary Magdalene, you see this moon. So it'll appear to us as an egg in the sky during the day, and it rose before the sun, so it would have been traveling in front in front of the sun. So, uh, but you were born at 11 p.m. 
which is going to put you pretty much opposite of the sun. If we said the sun is at 11 a.m., if that'll help you to see that, we got to jump to the other part of the sky because you are a night baby and uh, uh, Capricorn is opposite your sun and Uranus and Mercury opposite uh, Capricorn in the sky. So you were when you were born, the stars in Capricorn were over your head. Uh, let me back this up a little bit more. I want to give you an overall view here from Jupiter through. You, you don't have a whole lot lined up. you got a whole bunch just going on in Cancer right there, which again is opposite Capricorn in the Zodiac. And you being a night baby, Capricorn stars were over in the sky with really, I don't see hardly any influences. Let's whirl around there for a minute. Uh -huh. Saturn would have been your only influence in the night sky. Let's go ahead and even this out because Capricorn would have been closer to the middle, right about there. And this is what the sky looked like at night when you were born. So maybe Jupiter and Saturn. And uh, this one is, we got Earth, Fire, Water, Air sign. So Jupiter's in Libra for you. That's how you would look it up. I'm not sure which are retrograde. Your chart really don't look so bad. I mean, what you got going on in Leo just oozes the word balance to me especially with your mind and your subconscious mind i would say with your moon and pluto in the day with that egg moon talking about hatching something new you're probably extremely creative and uh right now all i can say is you're pretty much in the middle of a saturn return okay saturn's been hanging out here doing its little retrograde pattern back and forth through Scorpio and Sagittarius the past couple of years so if you've had any major effects it would be this right here it's Saturn in your chart because this is what's over your head when you're born so this and this is a cardinal earth sign so this is the only part of uh, it going on for you and I would actually say it looks good because I would say uh, in the sign of the humanitarian in a fire sign coming out being birthed out of the milky way galaxy this is generally where you would kind of see the sun sitting on the winter solstice right and uh saturn is in this area right now so you are experiencing uh one two maybe your uh third saturn return second or third saturn return for you so um that should be kind of like a payoff if you've done your homework, which I can look at Leo and say, yeah, you've already done your shadow work. You were on it. You've watched all this go down for years, probably. And, you know, I, I'm not sure where you're at today, but if you've done traveling in your life, then uh, I see that, that um, you definitely, uh, you see the other side of the coin, so to speak. You're not stuck in one frame mind, one programming, what we call tradition. You've been exposed to a lot to have this kind of balance over in Leo, which is just uh, powerful. Uh, I mean, they say Leo can be arrogant, right? And come off, come off that way. But with your Pluto and your moon there, and you having a day moon, uh, here again, I keep seeing this Uranus sun come up together. I mean, we're used to seeing Mercury and Venus with the sun. But in a lot of these charts, even in, even in different signs, we're seeing a lot of sun Uranus. So I, I, maybe I need to take another look at that, that conjunction there. Because this is another pattern I'm starting to see. We're starting to group together, all have a lot of things in common, and then subgroups below it like all the adopted people or orphans uh, just popping out of the blue all in one place at one time and again that Uranus Saturn I'm seeing that a lot 
other than that, you're pretty free from influences. Let me give you a quick look at the Arabic, just for a different perspective. That's why I like using it, because the more sources that you have, people, the better off you're going to be. <coughs> and you can go through uh, YouTube or just online and look up uh, your chart and see what planets you have that are retrograde that day. That information will be correct. What will be wrong is what sign it's retrograde in. And, you know, pretty much you probably thought... Uh, you were a different sign than this. You're on a cusp here. So you're probably just now finding out you're a cancer. I know that can be a shock, right? I forget that when I'm doing these charts that you people have, everybody, not you people, hell, I was in the same boat too till I woke up one day and realized, look, uh, Western astrology is telling me one set of constellation. Sidereal astrology is telling me a different constellation. So I just went outside and started looking for my damn self, and then I found Stellarium, which really helped because it shows you right where the stars really are. Again, we're having a, a full moon tomorrow night. You can go outside and look, and uh, it'll be full moon in Pisces. And learn those constellations, and every full moon, it's in a different constellation, so you can go out and see what that constellation is for that month. And the moon is just a great marker. It doesn't give any light of its own. It only reflects the light of the sun. So I look at it like it's the sun's mouse. It's its cursor that it moves across the sky and it tells a story as it goes. And yeah, we've been lied to about that story too. And they're trying to do the old switcheroo on that story right now. So we need to learn all we can about ourselves, uh, the different charts. If you come over here and you go into that star lore, uh, there are, you can do it from all over the world. And some of the older ones, they're limited on what they have. Now the chart I wanted didn't come up. They're limited on what they have available. But uh, we, you can go through the Egyptian, the Inuit, Korean, Macedonian. Some of them have more than others. I mean, like, e Egyptian, I know that Orion's going to show up, right? It's going to tell you about this constellation. It's not going to give it to me. How about that? But you can see the names of the stars here. Uh, Venus is star that crosses. Uh, Mars is red Horus. You have a trav. The moon is called the Traveler. That's why um, Freemasons, one of their secrets, they tell you in the King and I is, "Are you a traveling man?" Why, yes, I'm a traveling man. That means you're a Mason. And Mercury's name, uh, Ura Amon Ra. Ura Uranus is Amon Ra, the, the sun. There, I don't get Uranus. Just Amon Ra, the sun. You got Sirius sitting down here. Let's click on it. And that's going to be in the Egyptian. But when we use the Arabic, let's go back, you will get the Southern Shining One. This is the real name. To me, it's more Persian where they got it from, but Arabic was probably the first translation out of the Persian. And then the Latin, Greek, French, all of that. But the Shining One is the star Sirius. All right, I hope this helped you. Uh, this is a free program here for those of you who don't know. You can just go on Stellarium.com, download this, play with it, click on the names of the stars in the constellations where you have planets or especially your sun where you were born, and you can get the different names of those stars. I'll zoom in here for you right quick. Got a few seconds left. And let's take a look at this star right here. And that is the northern donkey. And the southern donkey. Now what on earth does that have to do with the crab? Nice little setup right there between Uranus, Mercury, and the sun.